Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. The real fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Bars. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA. In today's episode, I got a real premiere because I never covered this player before, even though I liked him so much. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at NBA legends giving their opinion about how good James Worthy really was. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. And I would say without any more blah blah. Let's get right into it. So the first player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is actually not only a player, but also one of the most successful coaches in NBA history, Lenny Wilkins. Let's take a look what he has to say. Big game, James. He threw another one down. Whenever I heard big game, James, I knew I had to take it to another level. James was uh, unique to, uh, to the Lakers. They loved him. He'd get out and run. I mean, he got out and filled the lane, and uh, Magic loved having him with him uh, because uh, they kind of set a tone. And, uh, and James also, you know, 8, 10, 12 feet off the lane, he could, he could make the jump shot. And so he would look to get out on a fast break. Uh, he'd look to pop out off of a down screen, things like that. To get out and fill the lane and run the break the way he did. I hadn't seen a guy, a big guy, that quick in quite some time. Put it in the highlight film. Does the crowd love it? Rebound is off to Michael Thompson. Four seconds left. There's time. Cooper, a great pass to Worthy. A three-pointer. Good! There's no one compared to Worthy because he's so quick. He's so agile, he can get to the basket quicker than anybody I know as far as his size. When I stop worried, it's like a great, great feeling because, hey, this guy right here get to the basket in the blink of an eye. Would, uh, you know, literally leave people in the dust. James has had a unique combination of just speed and size that I hadn't seen before. If you lost him for a second, he's dunking the ball on you. If he has a ball on the post, uh, he can spin or go around you. And he always played big in big games. Well, he played the game uh, kind of like a, a Jerry Rice would uh, play football. Magic was a quarterback. You knew it was coming, but, you know, he, he ran the pattern and he ran the route so good that it was difficult to stop him. A quick spin move. He had the drop step. He had the quick, he had the quick little, uh, almost little flick shot coming across the middle. Little runner. Worthy defense by McHale now. I love James Worthy, and uh, I'm a fan of his, and I think I'm a pretty good finish on him. It's really scary how good he is, and especially when it's the big game or the big series. He just comes out and he wants to win. The bottom line, he wants to win. And if he has to take the game and, and win it himself, uh, we'll all get on his back for the ride and let him take us to victory. James Worthy, who I, I had met in, in high school, um, you know, played against him when he was at North Carolina, beat him in the uh, NC2A championship, and then lost to him in the NBA Finals, then came back and, and beat him in the NBA Finals. You know, Worthy was a, you know, just a fantastic, fantastic finisher on the break, high flyer, great post player, and, and he fit he fit perfectly with Magic. Um, you know, you, you couldn't have found a, a better wing player than Worthy uh, for Magic at that time. Uh, ran the floor, had great hands, catch anything, finished around the rim, good defender. Uh, he, he was he was spectacular as a basketball player, just spectacular. James Worthy. Showtime was coming down. You know, you got to shake, rattle, and roll first, and then don't even look. Nice. Oh, baby. All the movie stars, it was Hollywood, it was Magic, it was Alley -oop. It was just a fast paced showtime. Down the middle of Magic, right side to Worthy. James Worthy spin. Oh. It's some, for some reason, every time I did it, they called travel. <laughs> 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 the James Worthy quick spin, Negan, I know you guarded him. Hey, it, it was so me, quick. It was so 
quick. For the bigs. He would basically get the ball in a low block. And as soon as he feels you, any type of touch, he was gone. Baseline. It was so quick you didn't have time to react. Reverse layup, good! Oh, what a shot! James Worthy was another level. You know, he's at seven kids from North Carolina. Uh, very humble, uh, but played hard. Probably the guy that sweated the most. And I used to just hate getting the ball. After James got it and he threw it to you, it'd be like a soaking wet ball and stuff. I'd be like, what's clever? We used to call him clever because he just had clever moves. Clever, what's going on with this, man? Well, if you don't want it wet, don't throw it to me. <laughs> but see, he knew that the ball had to come to him. So we had to learn to play with a wet basketball player. One of the toughest guys to cover because he, you know, he, he had the spin moves, he, you know, he had the ability to finish at the paint. And like I say, if he's making, if he's making that little 15, 18 foot jump shot, he was really, really for me, he was really a hard guy to guard. So now I got to get closer. If I could space him, get him, put the ball on the floor and contest his shot late, I, I felt like I would do a good job and hold him. Uh, at least uh, not shooting a great percentage. But once he started making that shot, you're getting up and he's driving and drawing fouls and just that road runner for a run. I mean, he could really run. He was fast, long, and finish great and, um, you know, fit in with the Showtime Lakers just, you know, perfectly. That is one tough man in the low post. Worthy has been worthy of his keep in this game, I'll tell you. James Worthy. I don't even want to hear his name. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad you said that because his nickname, Big Game James. Yes. What does that conjure up in your head? So he, the seven, seven game NBA finals, like he went crazy on us. Like it was supposed to be Magic Kareem and, and this dude get the triple double. And, and I'm like, OK, so I, I've known Worthy since high school. First time I met him. I had never seen, like, I met him and Dominique Wilkins at the same time in the McDonald's All-Star game. Now, I'm coming from Chicago, you know, where we patting and we shooting it and we going to the hole and everything. I hadn't seen people jump like this. Like, these two dudes, Dominique and, and, and Worthy, I mean, I, I mean, Worthy was, like, jumping, but then he was running fast. And, like, when he dunked, it was like a quick dunk. Oh! You know, it wasn't like... Mm, boom, you know, it wasn't style profile. This is a pow, you know. And I, it's like, damn, James. Like, <laughs> I, I had never seen nobody move like that and dunk like that so quick. Just mm, you, like you think you're coming in for it. Like, no, nah, I'm dunking it. <laughs> but big game, James. And, and you know, there's, there's, there's one, there's, there was one picture behind us where it had, I think Dumars had got close enough to him. But then, you'll see there's three other Pistons in the picture. We couldn't, we couldn't get there fast enough. So we watching them, right? And, and, and he's just doing his thing. And it's not Magic, it's not Kareem, it's James Worthy. James Worthy was the only person, Chuck, Chuck Daly came into the locker room and he looked at Sally, he looked at Worm, he looked at Mahorn, he was like, hey, you, you, you guys on your own, I don't know what to tell you. Normally we had a game plan, okay, we're gonna double Magic, we're gonna double Kareem. Whatever we tried against Worthy, it, it just didn't work. The only thing we could do was Mahorn could try to like talk him out of his game, get him frustrated, but in terms of beating him at basketball, we had no shot. Down the middle of Magic, right side to Worthy, laying up and in. That looks like the Lakers. From an athletic standpoint, uh, he could do everything you had to do as a player. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, he became a complete uh, player as a scorer, as a passer, a guy that can make your offense better. Uh, he then became one of our better defenders. We always put him on the Michael Jordans and the Larry Birds, and he took that challenge. And, and he really broke through in 1985. Uh, he broke through when we beat the Celtics on the parquet floor in Boston Garden. I, I can remember he went back there for game six uh, and, and James had this incredible game in game six, and then he just went on from there. You know the one thing that can always happen when you play on a super team or a team that has multiple superstars is that you sometimes get overlooked. And even though James Worthy was a top 50 player and a top 75 player, I have the feeling that he sometimes doesn't get the credit that he deserves because he was playing with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, um, Thompson, so many superstars and obviously 
it's hard to outshine those players. But in my opinion, James Worthy was not only one of the greatest players of all time, but also had a special gift. He was super quick and a scoring machine and had a unique playing style. So I loved him back in the days. And I just wanted to make sure that at least the basketball time machine gives him the credit that he deserves. So James, that episode was for you. So you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.